Hello, my name is Emily Miller. I am from Algoma, Wisconsin. Um, I currently go to the Green Bay campus here and I chose Green Bay because I love the environment that they create here. Everybody is so kind and welcoming and I just love that I feel at home here. I am majoring in elementary education. I'm hoping to become a first grade teacher when I graduate from here. As a student here at UWGB, I have two in-person classes and three classes that are virtual. All of my professors are always willing to help me. They're always there for me to email them or always there to reach out and they always go the extra step to help me. Um, something that I really like about Green Bay is that everybody is willing to help and everybody is so kind and I just love that. Um, it was a little bit difficult for the transition of reading, like, I personally struggle with reading, and the reading level is a lot faster paced, and I have definitely been getting better at it now, but it was an easy transition from high school to college for me, and that's probably because a lot of people that I went to high school with also went to GB, and that definitely helped. When I decided to go to Green Bay, I decided to stay in the dorms so I could meet more people. Um, I was scared once COVID happened that I wasn't going to meet as much people, but I found ways to still meet people, even if it's like joining virtual bingo, which is super awesome because you can win gift cards. Um, I actually, the first week my roommate was working and I decided to go get lunch with one of my friends and I ended up meeting a whole bunch of new people and it was awesome and the people here are so kind and they're my name awesome. I'm Ashley and I am from Algoma, Wisconsin. Algoma is like a half an hour away from Green Bay so it's not too bad of a drive. It's actually really nice that it's short. Um, I chose Green Bay because it was close to home and it just reminds me of being at home because it's like surrounded by nature and I don't, it just it's not in a city which I don't like living in cities um so it just reminds me of where I live and where I come from um I am going to GB to become an early childhood education teacher after I graduate I would like to become a teacher and be put in a setting where I am teaching the little kids and just having fun in the classroom. Um, my journey getting here, I never actually wanted to go to college. Uh, I decided I wanted to go to college my junior year and I wanted to go for nursing. I changed my mind once I took a tour, like I shadowed someone at a hospital and I almost passed out because I saw blood. So I realized that nursing was not the option for me um my professors this year are great um we're all adapting to being in a COVID-19 pandemic with mostly everything online I'm lucky to have two classes in person um the hard things about college is that you just have to keep up with your work and it's not really too bad um it's pretty easy, some of the stuff, but you just have to focus and just have fun with it. Like, just put, just do all your homework right away so then you can go have fun with your friends later on in the week. Um, I met some really good friends uh, from all over the place, and I've also reconnected with friends from my own hometown. Um, I would say my favorite place to go on campus, it's called the Common Grounds Coffee Shop because there's a Starbucks in there and you know, I love Starbucks. So that would be my favorite place on campus. Hi fifth graders, it is so nice to meet you virtually. I wish we could meet in person, but this will have to do for now. Um, I grew up in Pulaski, Wisconsin, and I actually graduated from Pulaski High School, believe it or not. Um, I chose UWGB because it is closer to home and it is a beautiful, uh, college here. It is so nice to be able to meet so many people, um, even with it being virtual and with COVID and everything. Um, I am planning on majoring in elementary education. 
uh, I chose elementary education because I love kids. I have two little brothers at home, and I am constantly babysitting for family and friends, and that's kind of how I got started with my major. After college, I am going to be a teacher in the area. I don't plan going anywhere. I plan to stay right here, right in, right in Wisconsin. Um, yeah. My name is Paige Splinter. I'm from Baraboo, Wisconsin. It's about 15 minutes from the Dells. Um, I chose to go to Green Bay because it's a little further away from home and I can, I feel like I can get some good in independence uh, coming here. Um, I decided to major in elementary education and I plan to be a kindergarten teacher with that. Um, a few things that I really like about college are the people here. Um, the professors are great, very entertaining. Um, I've met some really good people and friends here. Um, the workload is pretty hard. Um, it can get overwhelming sometimes, but there's always people there that can help you. Um, I'm gonna take you around to see some academic buildings we have here. Hi, fifth graders. My name is Kayla Wetak. I am from Kellnersville, Wisconsin, and I am a second year student at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. There are a couple different reasons why I chose to attend UWGB. Um, one of those reasons is that it was pretty close to my home. So a nice thing about Green Bay is that they have a few different campuses. There's the main campus in Green Bay, there's a campus in Sheboygan, a campus in Marinette, and a campus in Manitowoc. The Manitowoc campus is the one that is closest to my home, so that is the one that I've been attending for the last two years. The Manitowoc campus is a lot smaller compared to the Green Bay campus. Um, there's no dorms there, but it's a nice way to transition into college and after your first couple years there, you can transfer to the main campus in Green Bay and get ready to go at a bigger campus. My major is elementary education. Um, my plan after college is to get my um, teaching license and become a teacher at an elementary school. Ideally, I would like to teach second or third grade, um, but I think I would be lucky to end up anywhere in an elementary school. I work at a school right now, actually, as a special education paraprofessional. So I get to experience a little bit of everything. I've worked in kindergarten, I've worked in fifth grade, and there are great things about each grade level. So I really feel that I would be lucky wherever I end up one day. So my learning story is a little bit different than some others. Um, after high school, I did not go to college right away. I chose to get a job instead. I wasn't really sure what path I wanted to take and what I wanted to do. So I took a break and I figured that out for myself. Once I figured out that I wanted to go to school and become a teacher, it was really easy reaching out to an advisor. Um, she answered all of my questions when she met with me. She gave me a tour. She let me know everything that I needed to do step by step. And she showed me how to apply for financial aid. After I met with this advisor, um, I went ahead and did all the steps I needed to do and I applied to UWGB and I was accepted and I was ready to get the ball rolling. Do I wish that I would have went to college right out of high school? Yes, but the fact of the matter is I just needed a little time to figure myself out and I got there eventually. So I am very proud of where I am and I'm proud of myself for making the decision to go back to school. Another reason I am choosing to attend UW Green Bay is because I really needed to find something that would offer some flexibility. I work a job at an elementary school, so I needed to find somewhere where I could take classes in the afternoons or evenings as well as online. So my first year, I took mostly in-person classes at the Manitowoc campus. There was plenty of classes to choose from in the evening. So I was able to work that into my schedule pretty well. And then during the summer, I took 12 credits of online courses. So that's a really great option too. Online courses help you get your schooling done faster. This semester, things are a little different because of COVID-19. Um, my classes this semester are all online. One of my classes was supposed to be in person, but I worked something out with my professor and she is allowing me to take 
um, the course load online, which is really nice. So then I don't have to go into a classroom and risk getting sick. I have found that the professors at UWGB, whether it be at the Manitowoc campus or the Green Bay campus, have been super accommodating, very helpful, and they really just want to see you succeed. Any questions that you have, you send them an email, they get back to you, they are not judgmental, they really are just helping you do your best. Another thing I really like about UWGB is the variety of classes. There are classes in pretty much every subject you can imagine. So there's always something to choose from, whatever you're interested in. Um, one of the things that I don't really like is how some classes that are offered at the Green Bay campus are not offered at the Manitowoc campus. So there are some classes that I maybe would have liked to take, but since I was only willing to go to the Mantua campus, I couldn't take those classes right away until I transfer over to the Green Bay campus. So far though, everything's worked out really well for me and I'm happy with the path that I'm on. And even though school is super important and you should always do your homework and spend time doing everything, it is important to remember that there are other things besides school too. Some things I like to do outside of work and school are cooking and baking. Um, crafting. I really like doing do-it-yourself projects. I like building things. Um, I like spending time with my fam family. I have a niece. She's two years old. Her name's Evelyn and she's the cutest in the world. Um, and I also have a golden retriever named Winston. We like to go on walks on trails around my house and it's just really nice at the end of the day to turn it off. You did your work at school. You did a great job. Now go home and relax because you deserve it. I hope that when you are ready to make a choice of where to go to college, you consider UWGB. Um, it's a great school. I think that there is a spot for everybody here. The people are great. The teachers are great. Everything about this school is so inclusive and welcoming and it's a great environment to be a part of. You may be wondering what a phoenix is. A phoenix is a mythological bird which consumes itself by fire after 500 years and rises renewed from the ashes. Its indomitable spirit provides inspiration to all who walk and fly here. As a phoenix, I rise, I inspire, I gain perspective, I explore, I analyze, I respect, I succeed, and I soar. Maybe one day you can join me and be a phoenix too. This is the Green Bay One Stop Shop, or in other words, G-Boss. They have the answer to all of your questions, or as you could say, we call it the Google of UWGB. We are currently in GBoss right now, and Morgan will talk to you a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Morgan, and I work at GBoss. Um, so we are the home to academic advising, admissions, financial aid, and the registrar's office. So if you ever have questions about your financial aid or registration or advising questions, you can always call us, email us, or schedule an appointment to come in. Um, and you can reach us at GBoss, G-B-O-S-S, -S, at uwgb.edu. Um, or via phone at 920-465-2111. Welcome to the University Union. Come with me. This is the University Ticketing and Information Center. At the University Ticketing and Information Center, we print IDs, answer phone calls, give directions, and sell tickets to the Widener Center. This is the Phoenix Bookstore. They sell books for your classes and awesome apparel to rock the Phoenix. This is the Marketplace, my favorite place. First, we have to swipe in. It's breakfast time, and I'm at the Build Your Own Omelet Bar. How can I help you? Can I have an omelet with some ham and a little bit of cheese? All right, I can do that. Uh, that'll be three or four minutes. Perfect, thank you. This is my favorite part. There's dessert for every meal. Now that I swiped in, we can go up as many times as we want. This is the Common Grounds Coffee Shop. For all your early morning classes, you can get some Starbucks. This is another option to eat at. They offer really good food like burgers and smoothies. UWGB offers a lot of events, even if they are virtual. Here's a list of them for this month. 
This is the UREC app used to sign up to work out. All you have to do is click on reservations, scroll to the time slot that you want to work out in, and join the session. After you sign up and you're ready to work out, all you have to do is walk up to the desk and swipe your card. After you swipe your card, all you have to do is have your QR code scanned that was on the UREC app. In the upstairs of the Crest Center, there is ellipticals, treadmills, and stairmasters to use. This is an overhead view of all the equipment that is available to use. This is a full-size track that goes around the entire Crest Center, and this is also a rock climbing wall to use. The Crest Center also has a full-size pool, basketball courts, soccer fields, and many more fun things to do. This is my dorm room. When you walk in to your right, you have a full-size bathroom. Then once you walk out of there, you have full-size closets, which fit a lot of clothes. Then right across from that, you have a full-size sink, which is very nice. And then you have your bed, your roommate's bed, and then you each have your own desk and you can put things like microwaves or fridges in your room. So this is the library at the Manitowoc campus. Um, this is the back part of the library where there are a ton of tables and computers that you are able to use to do your homework. Um, over here on the right are all of the bookshelves. Um, normally there's not yellow tape on there, but those are there for COVID restrictions. Um, but normally you can check these books out. You can use them for homework or for leisurely reading. Um, and there's a ton of options. Over here on the left are a bunch of study rooms. So these rooms are nice if you need a quieter place to study or if you need to take um, an online exam or something. And these rooms are also really cool to use when you're doing group projects because you and your group can get together in there and you can talk amongst yourselves without really disrupting anybody else. There's a bunch of comfy couches and chairs that you can use in the library to read or do homework. This back wall has a bunch of DVDs that you can check out. Um, there are more tables. There's the printer you can use. Over here is the front desk where the librarians sit and they can help you with whatever you need. So although the library is full of books, that's definitely not the only thing that it has. So the library is a great resource if you are doing a research project. Um, there are databases you can use. There are archives that you can look into. And uh, most importantly, the librarians are super helpful with whatever you need to find. Um, you go there and tell them what book you're looking for or you ask them how to use the databases, they will help you, they will explain it to you, and it's a super easy process. Um, another great thing about the library is they do equipment checkout. So if you don't have a laptop and you need one, you are able to rent those out from the library and return them when you're done. All right, so the first building I'm showing you guys is the one of the entrances to the Marianne Coffrin Hall, also known as Mac Hall. So here is the main lobby for Marianne Crawford Hall. Alright, so here is the main entrance or lobby to Rose Hall. Another super cool tunnel with lots of windows and you get a beautiful view of campus. Also have this cool cafe where students can come to study. In Hall. All right, so we are now in the theater hall where we have all of our theater majors and art students that come. All right, and here we have the studio arts main cafe area. 